Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine now. Russia, just go home. After ending their task on Earth, a ninth council master will withdraw all his energy to the fifth plane, topmost, and then further to the ninth. And no one from the fifth level is getting more exciting. <laughs> What happens? No one from the fifth level down will ever be able to see her or him again. Oh, it's the six, the seven, and the eight, the nine can see. But you won't feel anything missing. Do you feel anything missing here in the physical planet, even? No. No. Oh, that's because I'm here, and then I'm there, and everywhere. Yeah. You feel the same. You feel better there, even. Yeah. You won't feel anything missing. Yeah. So when I sit here, you don't feel anything missing, right? No. Yeah. See, the same. So if you go to the fifth level, you even feel much better than that. You feel complete, fulfilled, satisfied. Content, happy, blissful. Don't think anything. There's no brain there to think even. Sometimes the ninth council would descend to the lower levels above the fifth lower levels. <laughs> you know, like the eighth, for example, <laughs> <laughs> above the fifth to teach beings there when he sees fit on rare occasions. Wow. These are the teachings you never heard before, eh? Have you? No. Not even from Buddha. No. Not even from Jesus. Who are the beings who got the te get the teaching? I don't understand. They come to teach others. Six oh. of the six and oh, seven. Yeah, yeah. And no. who are they? Oh, the councils. From the ninth, yes. Sometimes come down to the lower levels, like the eight, the seven, the six, to teach a being there if necessary, on rare occasions. Got it? We are talking about the ninth level council up to now. Where are you? On the ten, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. So if a ninth council goes up, that's it. You know. Even a perfect master of the fifth level cannot see her or him again. However, on the very rare chance that the ninth council master comes to teach the sixth level beings, then a perfect master of the fifth level is allowed to come to attend and see the ninth council master only if this. Perfect one has been a disciple of the ninth council previously, while he or she was on a physical plane. Do you understand now? Yes. Only the disciple of the ninth council can do that because they have connection already, so he can protect them. You know, they can weave a web of protection around that disciple of the fifth level, so lift him up for a while only. Ah, huh? if you stay long, you die. Huh? Only at the sixth level uh, border, maybe then you can be there. Yeah. Higher cannot. Huh? Mm. Wow, that's interesting, no? Yes. She is not allowed to go there to see any other councils while they are there. However rare it is the occasion. Yeah, the fifth level beings are only allowed to come up to see their own master. When that master of the ninth council in the physical body accepted him as a disciple, then when he's in the fifth level plane, if the master comes to the sixth level to lecture or something, then that <laughs> disciple of the fifth level can be allowed to come up, just to see that master council, not any other council. Yeah, because I told you there are many councils, no? Yeah, only if that council has been your master before and he comes to the sixth level or at the border, you are allowed to come up to see. Wow, so strict, eh? Not allowed to see any other councils, however rare the occasion. 
Yeah, of course, what for, no? What are you doing with other masters? <laughs> oh, well, there's some more here even, look. I thought it's finished. Hmm. She wrote a lot, didn't she? <laughs> Again, only the perfect 100% and highest masters, 100% plus of the fifth plane, are allowed to visit the sixth plane on rare occasions when the ninth council master of his is there, but never further than the sixth. Mm. And even then, only if their master from the ninth is present at that time. As already mentioned above, ne? So I keep rewriting the same thing. <laughs> just make sure you guys understand, don't go nonsense. Don't just keep <laughs> over Overstaying your welcome, huh? <laughs> Suppose you become a perfect master in the fifth plane, then you're allowed to come see me maybe sometimes if I'm on the sixth level, but don't overstep your privilege, huh? Because you'll be burned to a risk, yeah? You're finished, non existent, no more. Even the topmost level of the fifth level beings is not allowed to visit the sixth plane at will, even not at the border. And no one will ever be adopted into the sixth level or onward. <sighs> Don't dream about it, huh? Nobody has adopted there. <laughs> we thought we could have adoption, no? <laughs> yeah? The four can be adopted into the fifth, but the fifth cannot be adopted, or any plane cannot be adopted into the sixth level or seven or eight or nine. Such is the purity of the sixth level and upward, that no one from the lower realms can bear to be there, except through the protection from the Ninth Council, when such a great one is present. <sighs> no passport, no visa. Well, even I am. <laughs> Speechless. Even the sixth level beings cannot protect any trespassers themselves. Suppose you wander into the sixth level and not any of the sixth level beings can protect you. You will be extinct, extinguished. You will be finished, annihilated. So, just it be the order of the universe, no one can alter. Even when the Ninth Council Master comes to earth or any other plane up to the fifth, he has to wrap herself up so densely so that all beings can bear to be around him. or or else the intensity of her light will burn all to cinders. He, she, is working in a safe, secure, and unimaginable, impenetrable vault, like a bank vault, right? You know, safe deposit, and the vault, isn't it? Vault, yeah. Vault. Wow. Wow, I told you it's heavy stuff. <laughs> I just read somewhere, so it's heavy, but I didn't know it's that heavy. Can you bear it? It's okay? Yes. After Hungary, you can swallow it, right? <laughs> you, will, you will cry and stamp in your feet, and now you say, okay, whatever. <laughs> if we can't, we can't, right? <laughs> what can we do, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Such a thing I have been writing. And I hid it in a black box up to now. And I've been moving like six, seven houses ever since, within one or two years, you know. I can't even see all this, where it goes and where it came from, in a black box, ne? and tape it all very securely. The other day I found it, I read it. I just read some, I didn't have time to read all of this, really. I didn't know 
I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Now, there's some other revelations. Might as well have it all done with, hey? Who knows if any of you will live until tomorrow, no? Mm. <laughs> the story in the Bible about woman who is man's helper is not true. It's incorrect. Yeah. It is only referred to as positive and negative power. Understand? It's not real like a woman and a man took out or whatever that was. Yeah? Generally speaking, women are on the positive power and men are on the... Tell me. <laughs> Sorry, yes. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Don't worry, I was a man last life. <laughs> it's just, it just for general people, not for you, the saints. Okay, <laughs> another note. The story, God made man first, then from one rib, make his woman is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> it's written here. <laughs> I don't even remember all that. <laughs> of course, I know about it now, but I don't remember writing all this down. Can you imagine? That's why you have to have something to write down. Even I will forget this. Just a few years, two years or three years, I forgot already. Hmm? If I want to know all this, I have to sit again, <laughs> you know, and go from one step after another again, and I won't do that. Yeah. Okay, why is it incorrect? Hmm. False. <laughs> I say false. It was just a parable, you know, an example, that from the first creation of positive energy came all the less positive, less powerful creation from the first. Both are sparks of the whole cosmos. They are okay as long as they remain in heavenly bliss. But if they want to know God, this origin, they must come down to a lower level, like the physical, to learn it again. Remember the apple in Eden? Mm -hmm. I read it here. <laughs> I'm not asking you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss it. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> I, I wrote it. I'm reading it to you. I'm not asking you. <laughs> Remember, the apple is the wisdom. The urge to know God pushes them to go search for it. To be one with God again, to be whole with their origin, the serpent is the symbol of negative power.